Greetings, Commanders! My name is Eagle, and today we're back again with another video of Kiss of War. In this video, we're gonna provide you guys with an ultimate guide for gathering. If you like these type of videos where we give you valuable tips and tricks about the game to improve your gameplay and excel at development, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video for daily Kiss of War content as we are in the official Kiss of War content creation team. So let's get on it. So if you are a beginner player who just started the game and wants to learn how to gather, what are the basic gathering techniques and when to gather which officers to use, or if you are a veteran player who wants to utilize uh, the maximum amount of daily gathering they are currently doing, this video is perfect for you as we will provide all the content and all the guides and tips that you need to, to gather at the maximum amount daily. So, first of all, starting with a very simple thing, if you go to your boosts, there's something called the Gathering Master Boost over here, which gives you a huge boost to your gathering, which is 50%. Uh, it comes in two forms, the 8-hour gathering boost and the 24-hour gathering boost. And whenever I'm online and active, these boosts are active. I usually do uh, a 24-hour boost and uh, uh, reactivate it daily so that I always have this 50% gathering boost as it's a huge uh, boost for you to gather. Um, this boost can be easily obtainable from the railway station. Uh, you can obtain the 9-hour boost for 90,000 uh, food and the 24-hour boost for uh, 240,000 food, which is relatively very small for the amount of value you're gaining, so that's uh, pretty good and highly recommended to be used. Uh, another good thing is that if you gather in your alliance territory, you will gain a 25% boost and you can see that if you go to your guild tower click this little button over here and To the point number four It says that if you gather in your alliance uh, or your guilds territory you will get 25% more gathering speed uh, Which is as well paired with that. Uh, that's a 75% uh, Gathering speed if you are gathering in your in your guilds territory, which is a huge boost as well um Always a, another thing if you gather in your guild territory, if you go over here to your uh, guild research and go to a research in territory, you will find a research named Windfall. Uh, the Windfall research actually gives you bonus resources, bonus extra resources for the resources you have gathered. For example, if I show you my gathering, uh, my gathering reports, as you can see, I'm gaining more resources than the amount I'm already gathering, that is because of the guild research boost that I'm getting. And it, co it could go up to huge numbers, especially if you're gathering in the depot. So if we go down here, see, if I gather 7 million in the depot overnight, then I'm gaining 200 more, 200,000 more resources, and that's only on a windfall that is level 4. There are still two, two more windfalls that can actually be researched, and that would give you a huge buff as well. Moving on to the third point, which is basically uh, where, where can you actually see how much boost you have if you go to your HQ, to your graph over here, and then you scroll down, and then you will see exactly um, where, you can, where you're getting your boost from. So for example, I'm getting my boost from the research, VIP, office deployment item, guild research, and city bonuses. City bonuses is basically uh, the cities that your guild has acquired. So if you can go over here, you would see that some of these cities, like for example, Burdox up there, will give you a 7% gathering boost. Um, if we go back over here and go through these real quick, so your VIP level would of course give you more gathering boost. I'm currently at VIP level 14, so I'm gaining 25% more gathering boost. Your, let's talk about the research a little bit over here. So in the economy tab of the research, 
I highly recommend focusing on this uh, research over here or on this side over here because it's highly valuable, especially when you reach this one over here, resource gathering. This would give you universal gathering speed for all types of resources that you're trying to gather and it will max out at 25%, which is a huge amount. Uh, if you if you pair it with the, with the other gathering speeds which will give you as well 35% at maximum level so i would highly recommend focusing on the economy tree i understand it's a war game but there are some times where war is over you have to rebuild and regather and gather uh, your uh, resources and everything in this game actually requires resources so gathering is a vital part in this game um getting back over here so you have your officer deployment, which officer you are deploying, uh, the items, which is uh, basically the 50% boost that we talked about a second ago, and the guild research. So in your guild research, if you go over here in the development tab, you can see that there are uh, some gathering bonuses or gathering speed bonuses that you can get as well as over here. So uh, moving on right now, uh, this just a quick tip that I wanna give about the ethics of gathering. So this is basically uh, our guild territory right now in the blue over here. So if you see uh, if, if you see someone going to gather in a resource style that is in your guild territory, for example, like this line over here, if you see a blue line going to gather, uh, this is a gatherer, for example. So I might be able to beat this guy to this point, uh, to this uh, node over here, but going uh, for a node that is that might actually give you more bonuses uh, is just not cool. So you just leave those nodes for your guildmates, especially if you see uh, a blue line that is going up there. So I just wanted to point that out because that usually happens a lot. So it's fine to go uh, to move a little bit further so to find your own nodes and gather there. So I just wanted to point this uh, real uh, uh, this point real quick. And for gathering, there's an imp another important tip that I would like to highlight is that when you click over here and you want to go and gather, so the game doesn't actually uh, choose the best. So what it does is that it chooses. Uh, the right amount of troops that you need to finish that knot, which is good. So you don't need to uh, play with the troops unless you want to, for example, in my case right now, I've already sent all my um, all my artilleries, which is the main gathering troop uh, type, to another gathering spot. So now I'm using my other types of troops. Unless you want to change that, uh, then you will be able to finish the nod. However, for in terms of the officers, usually the game doesn't choose the best officers for you uh, to gather in that specific resource type. So you might want, want to manually change the officers so that it best fits the gathering speed of that, uh, of that specific tile. So moving on to the next point um, is basically... Uh, the officers. So the officers uh, come in all uh, tiers of rarities, uh, the gatherers. So starting with the legendary ones, which is Angel over here. So for for gatherers, you have to look for uh, gatherer talent up there, as you see in the right corner, as well as gathering talent uh, skills. So let's talk about the skills for first in Angel. So for gatherers, naturally what you want to do is upgrade uh, or level up their gathering uh, skill first so for example for angel you wouldn't go for this one first you would definitely have to level up and max out the, their gathering skill first so that you can maximize the value uh, from this specific officer and i want to mention something here as well uh, is that specifically in angel if you awaken her, you can get up to 8% more resources once you finish that specific nod. So, if, for example, if you gather 100k in that specific nod, you will get an extra 8,000 from that nod. And you can multiply this if you're, for example, uh, gathering from a depot. And if you get, like, I don't know, 8 million from a depot, then that 8% can actually accumulate for a, for a better number of resources. 
So this was for Angel. If we go now to uh, Evelyn over here, Evelyn is the uh, is one of the gatherers that is from the Epic tier. Of course, you have to max out um, her gathering speed over here uh, in this skill first and then uh, max out her other skills. One thing about Evelyn that, has, that is worth mentioning is that she is as well um, sort of an offensive gatherer. That means that she could be used for in combat. Other gatherers are not super good in combat unless you are trying to use them, for example, in Normandy, uh, which I recommend using Angel in Normandy for this specific skill over here due to the fact that she can buff uh, all your other marches if placed in the right place. Uh, same goes for Evelyn over here. Evelyn, however, has the support tree and the infantry tree, which can be utilized as a secondary officer. Quite good, actually. Uh, especially talking about her first skill that gives you a healing multiplier of 350, and when uh, awakened, it will give you a healing multiplier of 500, as well as recover 50 rage for three targets, which is kind of huge uh, in the battlefield. So my recommendation, once you immediately uh, finish the, uh, the gathering skill over here, maxing out the gathering skill, then go immediately and max out her first skill. Um, Evelyn can be obtained only from uh, the event that is called Trials of Heroes, where you get encrypted notes and you can use them to spawn Pandoras and rally them with your uh, guildmates, like for example, these encrypted notes that come in three different levels over here. Um, and Evelyn is quite a magnificent officer as well. So she can be, she can be used f either for gathering uh, or for uh, combat. Moving on to uh, the rare tier uh, of officers. And we have two officers that are going to be your main gatherers as a starting account. So as a new account, you should really focus on Marjorie and Jean over here because they are super easy to level up and rank up their skills. And if you see they're leveling up, another tip for you guys is that leveling up a rare officer is half as much, would require half as much experience as leveling up a legendary officer. So this is why you can see that I've already leveled up my Marjorie and Jean to level 40, and I'm holding back a little bit on my Angel because she requires a lot of experience as well as legendary stars. So going with the recommendation, uh, you max out her uh, th their gathering skills, and uh, technically this is where you uh, will get the most benefit out of them. One thing that we have uh, realized as well is that each officer specializes in gathering some uh, types of resources. For example, looking at uh, Jean over here, she's actually she actually doesn't specialize with anything. She will give you 18% gathering speed on any types of resources. However, um, going for uh, looking at Angel over here, she would give you 30%. Uh, for oil gathering. That means if you're gathering oil with uh, Angel, you would get 10% more uh, gathering speed when, uh, as if you were gathering any other type of resources with her. So that gives you a huge bonus uh, when you're gathering oil. So you, you should make her your main oil gatherer in the long run, and this would help a lot. Um, but technically, uh, Marjorie, Jean, and Angel can be obtained from the elite recruitment, and uh, for Marjorie and Jean, they can be obtained as well from the basic recruitment uh, right over here. So it's easily, their sculptures are easily obtained. However, for Angel, uh, the, the Angel badges, there's a special event called as well Strategic Reserves. This event gives you Angel badges, which I highly recommend participating in and spending your action points in because her badges are quite uh, valuable in the long run and she will be a great gatherer. So, uh, we've talked about the skills right now. Moving on to the talents over here. Let me just show you a full gathering tree right over here. So, in the gathering tree, what you need to be focusing on once you reach uh, Forced March, you should go for the oil gathering rather than focusing on the energy, because simply 
oil is a much more used uh, resource than energy, especially in the early game, uh, because in the early game you'll be losing, uh, you'll be using a lot of oil and uh, less less energy. What what is highly recommended? What is what you need to focus on is to get your officers up to level forty, where you can unlock gathering master which will give you 25% more gathering speed, which is a huge percentage. So what you should do is, as a new player, is get up uh, or level up Marjorie and Jean up to level 40 so that you could gain uh, the 25% gathering speed from their talents and therefore uh, have a huge value for gathering. Focusing on legendaries first and epics is... Not a, a huge recommendation. What I would focus on is Marjorie and Jean, and then Evelyn, and then lastly, Angel. As you can see, I still haven't got her up to level 40. And another thing that I wanted to talk about, actually, in the talents over here, especially for late game, uh, for advanced players that have already leveled up uh, or reached the late game and leveled up their um, officers to a high level, is going for movement speed. So as you can see here, uh, there's uh, the total march over here and uh, this one over here. So these two will actually increase, increase your uh, movement speed, the movement speed of your troops, which uh, you should focus on or should consider in the late game because Simply, if you have your combat officers leveled up, then uh, it's it it should be uh, a focus for you to increase the movement speed of your gatherers because when you're walking, you're not basically gathering, and that actually takes me to the point of giving you a general tip over here over gathering. So, for example, if we look over here, and if I if I'm looking for level six nods, so for example, I find this nod over here. Um, Let's say I didn't fight that knot and it's actually the one over here. So moving to this knot would take me two minutes, but let's say that I couldn't find any knot that is in five minute radius uh, over here. So I, I get it, gathering higher nods when you are uh, away is better because when you come back to the account, it will be uh, like your gatherers would have gathered any, any high nod level and you would gain more resources. However, if you are online, I would highly recommend you gather in your territory and even if the nod is level 4 or level 3, that is totally fine because then um, you, would be, you would be walking less which means that you would gain more more time for gathering and therefore you would actually gather more resources at the end of the day. So this is one tip that I wanted to give you guys as well. Uh, and I thought that uh, it's very important to mention. Another way of getting resources is actually from the resource production over here in your, in your base. So resource production buildings are super important and actually underrated in this game. If you look over here at my steel mill, I'm getting per hour about 48k steel from this specific steel mill over here. And that is because uh, joined with my boosts that are uh, that will give me 25% uh, more more food output in my or, or steel output in my in my base, these are actually insanely good. However, leveling these up to 25 is recommended. However, it would take about a couple of months to match out the, uh, the master's blueprint, the amount of gold you're going to be spending on the master's blueprint, because each one of those costs you about 2,000 gold. So to get that the same value in resources, it would take about a couple of months. But up from that point, you will be gaining all value from these resources that you are actually getting uh, from your uh, level 25 gathering um, buildings. So my top re recommendation is to actually level up these buildings. As you can see, I'm now focusing on them uh, because they are actually extremely important uh, to be considered to level up. Another good thing is that these boosts over here, the boosts over here actually give you huge value uh, for your daily production, resource production. However, my recommendation is to only use these um, boosts if your 
gathering uh, or sorry if your resource production buildings are level 16 and above because at that point you will you will actually break the break even point when you are trying to buy them from the railway station so this one costs about 120k energy so when your when your resources when your resource buildings are above 20 level 16 then you will be gaining value when you are using these especially when there are events that require you uh, or that will give you rewards for produ producing resources in your cities such as a strategic reserves event so basically now a question arises and you guys are asking me so if gathering was that easy and you were you are able to gather about 25 million plus resources on a daily basis then why not make this in multiple accounts and that way you can gather a, a lot of millions <laughs> of resources daily and that question is actually great and I will leave the answer for another video. We will be give you a full guide on how to create a farm account and what is the reason behind that. So that was it for this video. If you like these types of videos, if you like, if you have learned something new in this video, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for daily content of Kiss of War. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a good one.